I've seen how underglaze transfers can transform ceramics. So I've ordered myself some underglaze transfers from an American company called Elan Transfers. I've ordered a few different patterns and I've printed out the instructions which look really clear so I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to be making two tea light holders. I've rolled out a piece of porcelain, compressed the clay and then I've used a template measuring 26 and a half centimetres by nine and a half centimetres. The transfers come in A3 sheets. I'm trying out the sketched flowers. I slowly press the transfer onto the damp porcelain. I used a rib to gently go over the clay. And voila, here we go. The big reveal. Wow, I think that looks really lovely. I scored and slipped the base. And now for the hand building. I think it looks really pretty. I tried a second method, I hand built the tea light holder and waited for it to be leather hard. I wanted to see if I could add the transfer to a curved piece. I wrapped the transfer sheet around the tea light holder as tightly as I could. I needed to add some slits into the transfer. And I used a damp sponge to start adding the transfer. Now this did get tricky at times and I had to press quite firmly. So you can see here at this point I'm having to rub down quite firmly. I found that the transfer wasn't coming on so I did need to add some more water to the, the sponge. This method it was a lot more tricky. This was the tricky part, trying to navigate around the butterfly. Trying to be really gentle here. Here we go, the big reveal. Slowly does it. Trying to navigate around the butterfly, I must admit, was difficult. But I think we practice. I think I could make a real go of using more transfers in my work. I think it looks pretty. The tea light holders will go in for abyss firing at a thousand degrees Celsius. When they come out, I'm gonna just add a transparent glaze. So hopefully they'll come out of the kiln looking good. I do think I need some more practice with the second method but I like the fact that it looks um, like it's been printed like it's been it, it, it's a drawing so I really like that 
I love how they turned out and they especially look really good in the dark. If you want to see another video that I've done on transfers, go and take a look at it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.